Drogue RMD. I uh, wanted to spend some time just talking about uh, techniques and uh, treatments that I think a lot of times people just have difficulty with because of the, the nomenclature. And basically, I'm talking about venous lysis cases. I'm talking about things like thrombectomy and thrombolysis and pharmacomechanical thrombolysis. Uh, we're throwing these terms around. Uh, I think some people know what we're talking about, some people don't. The truth is, we're, we're not talking about complicated stuff. It sounds complicated, but it's really actually pretty straightforward. And let's just start talking about it. And, and I'm going to be talking mostly in the context of uh, venous lysis cases. So with venous lysis cases, um, thrombectomy, thrombolysis, we're talking about thrombo. We're talking about the root word thromb, and that is uh, thrombotic, or basically clots. We're talking about clots. You know, we're talking about blood clots. So uh, when I did a port, when I was at Stony Brook first year, um, I remember we made that incision and the blood pooled into one of those blue towels. And I saw the blood pooling. And uh, a couple of minutes later, I checked, I remember noticing that it had just gelled up into a little ball. And basically that's the blood clot. Um, blood clots, it's what it does. Um, it's, it's a normal thing. It can be abnormal. If you are uh, not mobile for a long period of time, or maybe you take a plane, long plane trip, and this large vein in your thigh called the femoral vein, if that fills up with blood and that blood congeals and gels and forms a clot, uh, it can actually become a big problem. It can cause obstruction of the blood flow right there in your leg. And it can also break free and end up uh, in your lungs as a pulmonary embolism. And then it can decrease uh, blood flow to the lungs and basically you can get very sick from that, uh, PE. So when we're talking about um, you know thrombolysis, we're talking about uh, trying to treat clots. We're tra talking about trying to lyse clots. So we're talking about pharmacomechanical thrombolysis. How do we lyse or basically dissolve clots using both pharmacologic and mechanical methods? All right. So, so what are we talking about? Well, when we're talking about pharmacologic, we're really talking specifically about one agent. Now, there's a, there's a couple different agents, but in my mind, there's really only one agent, and that is Altaplace, also called TPA. Um, so Altaplace is definitely something to look up. Uh, I've, I've Googled it before, just kind of read about it. We're talking about a pretty important medicine called Altaplace. Um, basically, it dissolves clots. Um, it's a form of the body's own clot-busting medication, or uh, medicine that it, it releases on its own. And it's, it's basically an exogenous version of that. And uh, you can get TPA. You can order it. The nurses give it to you. Um, you basically can use it directly on a clot. So... Um, Different ways you can do it, you can basically spritz it, infuse it right into a clot if you're inside of a blood vessel, have a catheter up next to a clot, you can visualize the clot on x-ray, you can basically put that medicine right into the clot and it can start dissolving the clot. Um, you can actually hook up like a sprinkler hose, a multi-side hole infusion catheter, and you can string it through the clot and you can actually drip that clot-busting medicine, that TPA Altaplace, you can drip it through there and dissolve the clot over the period of 24, 48 hours, 72 hours for some people. So th these are ways to do pharma pharmacologic thrombolysis. You're basically lysing or dissolving a clot using using Altaplace. Right. Altaplace, just, just know, it's, it, it can also be a very dangerous drug because it can dissolve other blood clots. It can cause actually uh, brain hemorrhages. It can cause any sort of hemorrhage. So it's, it's a medicine you really wanna know what you're doing when you use it. But again, vast majority of the time it is it is safe to use at the right dose. All right. So, so when we're talking mechanical, so we say we often combine it, pharmacomechanical thrombolysis, then we're actually talking about using mechanical agents to help dissolve the clot. And really what we're talking about basically in, in very straightforward terms is kind of like a blender. Um, when you have that blood clot there, that gelled up blood, uh, one way to deal with it one way to dissolve it back into uh, normal blood is to basically just uh, crush it up, dissolve it, just kind of break it up. Um, and you can do this with a variety of devices. They are all kind of different, but they're all kind of the same. Um, one literally looks like a blender, like a, like a rotor router. Uh, one is sort of like a wire that sort of whips, sort of, sort of whipping, whipping, whipping that wire inside of the blood vessel, uh, shaking that clot loose. Uh, dissolving some of it. You actually usually combine this again, pharmacomechanical. You're using that uh, dissolving medicine, TPA, at the same time. So you're using two agents. You're kind of breaking up the clot, trying to dissolve it. Um, if you're working the lower extremity, uh, you might be sending small 
class albums in the IVC. This is why some people do consider putting in an IVC filter to kind of capture some of the larger clots. Um, but that's what you're doing. You're using pharmacological methods, mechanical methods, one of these devices that basically just acts on the clot and breaks it up just like a, a blender breaks up uh, fruit or ice. So, um, so then we're also talking about there's thrombolysis, but there's also thrombectomy. So thrombectomy, we're actually talking about removing clot from the body. Ectomy, we're basically removing it, taking it out of the body. So how can we do this? Well, actually, a really basic, basic way of taking it out of the body, you know, without using any of these uh, new fun agents that you often see discussed on, on Twitter and other mediums, is literally, and, what, and this is what they used to do, they just take a sheath, a large french size sheath, so let's say maybe an eight French sheath, if you put it right into the clot, and you hook up a syringe on the, on the back of it, on the sidearm, and you just aspirate as you pull that sheath and it's, and it's in the clot, then you will probably take out a decent amount of that clot that's in the vein. Now, you'll also unfortunately take out a lot of blood as well because um, you're just aspirating everything. So you get the clot, you also get some blood. You don't wanna to lose too much blood, but again, this is a very basic way to perform a thrombectomy. So uh, again, and all these techniques are sort of utilized at the same time. Think, think, about a, think about a big occlusive clot in the, in the thigh vein, in your femoral vein, and you are basically blitzing it with a, with a blender, you're hitting it with this medicine that is known to dissolve the clot, and then using another device, or the same device, or a combination of devices to suck that clot out of there. Basically, you're trying to get back to a normal status. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kinda hold it right there, because I think that's, a, that's enough to chew on. Uh, basically, yeah, we're talking about venous lysis, we're talking about terminology, and we're talking about clots, uh, dissolving them with medicine, TPA, we're talking about breaking them up with a mechanical device, and then we're talking about removing them from the body. Again, you could use a sheath or you could use any one of these uh, newer devices that are on the market, like suction thrombectomy devices, and you're basically uh, taking that clot and pulling it out of the body and trying to restore a normal blood flow back to the vein. Surah Garmdeh.